What's up, YouTubers? For today's episode, I thought I would do a follow-up to my DCEN versus DCEP versus AC video. Now, we're not going to use AC today, but I thought it was interesting in my previous video that the EP versus EN polarity for stick welding didn't really net a huge difference. So I thought, well, maybe a small difference in the flat plate might actually add up to a very large difference if we're actually welding two pieces of metal together like in a fillet weld. So we're going to do a four rod test, 6013 eighth inch rods, and we're going to do two fillet welds on DCEN and two on DCEP. So let's get into it. I got quarter inch thick steel. That's what we're going to be working with. And I got my 6013 rod since most rods do not run DCEN polarity. Actually, you know what? Why not use a stub rather than a new rod? Not that this is a stub, pretty big rod for a stub. All right, I'll start by, plate's a little bit warm already. I'll run a pass, cool it in water, run a pass, we're on DCEP. Not a bad looking pass in there. Ooh, hot, hot. Holy shit. I think I would remember that. <laughs> You want to see what happens when a slag gets in front of your rod. So I had a decent start and then for some reason immediately that flux ran way ahead. Even though I had quite a drag angle, I tried everything and then finally got it to settle down here. Then it, it welded fine, 100% fine. But anytime that flux gets in front of your rod, that'll happen. You get the slag entrapment. I mean, with a little grinder action, I could clean it up and then weld over it and it would be fine, but it's one of the reasons why I don't like 6013 that much. I mean, once it runs good, I mean, it makes decent, really good looking welds, but that slag entrapment issue is a bastard. Let me go and cool this. All right, it's all cooled down and dry. I'm gonna run 6013 on DCEN, electrode negative.
Not bad looking. Huh. All right. Let's go cool this down. Another good bead. One thing, so the DCEN, it sounds almost like, uh, just like, like a hiss when you're welding it on EN. And not only that, the starts actually, I like the way it starts better. I find that on DCEP, the flux at the start seems to really want to run ahead of your rod. And that can really make it difficult to get a good start. But you can see, like, I started right here. And the bead looks completely the same end to end. And it's the same thing over on this side. I mean, the start was a little bit rougher, but, you know, not bad. And then when you look at the EP. Whew, hot. Like, I always get this humped up start because it's like you've got to long arc it a little bit to try and get the flux to push away from it and then like on this side again it humped up and then I ran ahead of me and I had to manipulate it to get it out but yeah I honestly like I said in a previous video 6013 I almost like the way it runs on DCEN better honestly or AC and I don't run virtually any 6013 anymore but if I did I think I would honestly I'd consider running it on EN or AC versus EP. All right, let's, let me cool this and uh, we'll cut it in half and take a look. All right, the moment of truth. Both of these EN welds have uh, acceptable profile, decent penetration, really nothing to worry about. Looks good to me. Now the EP welds, pretty much uh, same deal. I mean, I would say maybe a little less penetration, but they look very similar. Now here's another EN. Again, penetration looks pretty decent. Looks like there's a bit of undercut at the top. Hard to say on that, though. And the last EP looks pretty good. Don't mind the bottom of the plate where there's a gap. It just wasn't milled flat. The penetration looks pretty decent. Maybe it is a little bit less. Now here, the comparison of all of them, the upper right's a little hard to see, but I would say they're all acceptable and there isn't a huge difference. I mean, just looking at it, they look very similar. So we're going to have to look at a little bit higher detailed picture. Now here again, I would almost say the EP looks a little bit better, at least in this photo, but it's really anybody's guess, honestly. In order to smoke out some of the details, I'm going to flash between photos pretty fast. So epileptic patients, you're warned. I do notice a pretty significant difference between them. And by significant, I mean almost non-existent. But there is a difference. Well, that was interesting. I ended up flipping on my phone back and forward between the shots and pretty much what I've gathered is I guess I could say DCEN has a little bit more penetration than EP. I mean, being that this is quarter inch plate, you're talking about like, I don't know, a 32nd of an inch, if that. I mean, then that's pushing it. So not really anything to write home about. Not as drastic as I would have thought. Um, AC definitely has uh, more significant of a difference in penetration, which part of that I think is, is on an AC waveform, you have a point where your current is essentially at zero. So when you're outputting a waveform of amperage or heat and it goes to zero, your overall heat input at 130 amps is actually going to be less than 130 amps at straight current because the heat stays steady. So the AC penetration, I'm not sure how much of that lack of penetration is just due to the less heat input via the time spent at or near zero. 
volts. So something to think of just has less heat input. Now maybe on AC I could run higher amperage or something and, and the rod will handle it. I don't know. But anyways, back on topic. Yeah, DCEN, slightly more penetration. I like the starts on it a lot better. Like the starts just seem to flow out and just not have issues with flux running in front of the rod. I mean, when you compare the two here, it's night and day, you can see. So if you don't slightly long arc it at the start to push that flux this way, it just it's going to run ahead of the rod. With DC, no issue with that. Much better start. So starting, I like DC. One thing I noticed doing the cut and etch and kind of paying attention to this, there seems to be more of a possibility of undercut on DC EN than EP. I think that maybe because of travel speed on EN seems to be higher. Like I definitely, it almost seemed like the rod was burning off. Like I had to move faster with EN and it's possible that just by moving slightly faster, because the puddle looks a little bit different. I just maybe underfilled it didn't, you know, my travel speed was slightly too high, but I mean, we're talking, which I don't even see it. I think it's on this one. Yeah, up here, you can probably see it. There's like a little hint of undercut. I mean, again, this is really split in hairs. So yeah, it sounds different. The penetration's decent. I mean, really, this is kind of a non-issue since most rods you can't run on EN anyways. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if your prediction or what you were thinking is right on this. I mean, you already saw the other video, so you had an idea of what to expect. Now, one thing I'll say before I head out here, I have a feeling on open root welding, the difference would probably be more significant. And I saw a more significant difference, even though it's minimal on quarter inch. The other test I believe I did on three eighths and on three eighths, there wasn't really a huge difference. So that's kind of telling me, you know, or maybe it was quarter, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't think there's enough of a difference to really matter. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go get some dinner. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Till next time.